scene and this right behind me is my studio. So I realized I haven't done a studio tour in a while, basically like not this whole year, in like eight, nine months. So I thought this was a good time to do a studio tour, but also check out the cameras on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So that's what I'm shooting this video with. That's what I'm gonna shoot the whole video with. And this is the front facing camera. And this is what the audio sounds like coming from the Galaxy Note 20 unedited. Now, when I put this in post, then I might tweak it and edit it because I don't want you guys to just watch a video with crappy audio, but I will let you know by putting something on the screen that I tweaked it and edited it. But anyway, um, right now, this is what the studio is as of mid 2020. I'm, I'm going to flip the camera around and use the main sensor on the Galaxy Note 20 or if I need to go ultra wide sensor, I'll also let you guys know in somewhere on the screen that I switched the sensors, but that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys have any questions while I'm doing this tour about any of the products, then let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys can go ahead and give this video an early thumbs up, that'd be great, that really helps my channel grow. So anyway, let's turn this camera around and show you guys everything in my studio. Okay, so right now I'm shooting on the main sensor and this is what my studio looks like. And basically this is just my basement that's been converted to a studio. Uh, nobody comes down here. We used to use it to watch TV and stuff, but now nobody comes down here. We have another TV upstairs. So this is what the whole thing looks like. Um, we're just gonna start over here on the right hand side. That is the TV that I was talking about we used to watch. This is a Samsung TV. I've had it for about seven years now. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work to be honest with you. So it's just mounted up there just for like, cause I didn't want to take it down. And that's the couch we used to use. But this is now just sitting under it. And that's just for people that come visit me while I'm down here to sit and to just watch or just to chit chat, whatever. So that's what we use that for. Um, this right here is my second camera, the Sony A6600. Um, I have a DD mic on there and I use that when I'm not shooting video on my main camera right over there, which I'll get into once I get to the desk over there. So that's what this area right here is all about. And then over here, this is like a sound blanket and it's on like a wheel. So let me switch over to the ultra wide camera. All right, so this right here is the ultra wide camera. Now I can get a little bit closer and it's on this little like clothing rack that's on wheels and I just move it whether I'm shooting video right here or this new corner that I'm setting up, which you guys haven't seen that yet. So that's what it is. And on the other side, I actually utilize it. So I have my t-shirts hanging there. Um, I shoot a bunch of videos, so I don't want my t-shirts getting mixed up with my regular everyday clothing. So I just keep my t-shirts here, throw one on, shoot the video and put it back and it just helps me stay organized. So that's like a clothing rack and a sound blanket. I got the sound blanket off Amazon. I'll leave that linked down below in the description. I'll also leave everything linked down below in the description. That's a door to the back of my uh, basement where the furnace, water heater and all that stuff are. So we don't need to go into there. And then this right here is a uh, like a cabinet I got from Ikea. And if we open up this cabinet, Honestly, there's a lot of junk in here and I probably need to purge it and just get rid of everything or most of the stuff. Um, this shelf right here is all like camera gear. Uh, I'm a Sony shooter. You'll see some Sigma lenses, stuff like that. Over here, we have like phone um, galore or phone boxes, iPhone. This one right here is the S9 box, Pixel box. So you get a lot of stuff. That's all junk aperture light dome box um, and then just a bunch of stuff over here so I like I said I haven't touched this closet for a couple of years so I probably need to purge that um, over here is my charging station so I have everything that I charge back there all connected to this and plugged up down there this is a Google Home Max and this thing controls all the smart lights in my house or in my basement and also in my house so i can easily say things like hey google turn on the studio 
All right, turning on two things. And then it'll Sorry, put on... It looks like the desk lamp isn't available right now. So yeah, don't disregard that last part. But basically it turns on all the lights so that I have nice backdrop when I'm shooting over there. And then down here is things that I need to get rid of, things that I need to sell. I'm getting rid of these AirPods Pro. There's a case. I'm getting rid of uh, that Weeble S down there. This bridge case. Some of this stuff might still be available. So if you guys are interested, then definitely DM me on Twitter or Instagram. We can work something out. This is my shelf and as you could see, only this right here and this looks very organized. Up top is messy, down below it's super messy and that's just because that's the two shelves that you see on camera. So that's what I decided to keep clean. Uh, I have shoe collection. These are the Adidas Dragon Ball Zs. These are the Kobe's. Um, I have some NMDs up here and as you guys can see I also like hats. So, and then these are actually some other NMDs. I love these NMDs right here. I'm a shoe head, I'm a sneaker head. Well, to a certain extent, but anyway, that's like all the stuff that I keep on the shelf. I still have to review this Pixel phone. I still haven't taken it out of the box, but that's coming up in the future. This um, right here is pretty cool. So my wife got this for me as a present, and it's a camera and it's been replaced with a light instead of the lens and i think that looks pretty cool i have it connected to a wire that goes down the back so that you guys can't see it this plants from amazon the light back there and the light over here are life x bulbs and they're smart bulbs and then this table also i use to put stuff that i need to review so note 20 galaxy buds live all that stuff coming out to the channel very soon so if you guys are interested in that Something went wrong google again in google seconds. stop stop nobody's talking to you google sometimes does that um and then if we go over to the left hand side this is my desk setup so i did a full video on this desk setup and if you guys want to see it then i will link that down below in the description basically it's a gerton tabletop from ikea and some trestle legs. The only new addition to the desk since that video came out is this chair. This is also from Ikea. I love this chair. It's super comfortable. It wasn't that expensive, about $199, $199, 200 bucks I think. It's got lumbar support and that's what I really like about it because I do have lower back pain. So that's the chair that I sit in whenever I'm editing videos or whenever I'm gaming. I do game on my PlayStation 4 and it's all connected to this BenQ monitor. Also this shelf is brand new. So I put this shelf up and I keep my lenses there so they're organized and my Kobe poster right there. As you guys can tell, I'm a big Kobe fan. Now when I'm shooting videos, I don't sit on that chair because this part right here is just super high and gets in the way of the video, makes my head look really small. So I don't sit on that chair. That's why this chair is over here. This is the chair that I roll out. I sit in it, shoot the video, and then push it back there. Um, something else about this desk. So you guys can see the desk. It's all set up and the computer is on, but there's no computer. And that's where this little cool part came. So I actually put the laptop underneath. Now if you guys can see, my laptop is right under there and you have cable running from there, connecting it to there. And it's just a little sh wooden shelf that I made, except these brackets. These brackets I got from b and I'll, I'll link them down below in the description. And they just give you a nice little slot that you can slide your laptop in. And then I have my Razer Kraken headphones. I love these headphones. They're super lightweight. That's what I actually like about them. They're my gaming headset. So they weigh about 250 grams compared to other headsets that are about 300 to 350 grams. This right here is Amplify Alien. Gotta have that Wi-Fi 6 router if you want a Wi-Fi 6 router. And then I also have this light bar back there and you could actually turn it on from this little switch that I put underneath. So when I turn it on, it comes on and then you could dim it and make it brighter. So it's on a little dimmer. So that's pretty cool. And then that's my camera right there. And this light is the Aperture 120D Mark II. That's what I use to light all my videos. Now the dome is from Nice Photo. 
and I wanted to get the Aperture Dome, but when that came out, then this guy was out of stock, and I didn't want to wait, so I got this one. It's about 50 bucks cheaper than the Aperture one, but honestly, it gets the job done, and it looks really good. So that's what I use to like my videos, and then you guys probably have seen this angle where I sit right there, and this is the camera that I'm using. This right here is the Sony a7 III with a 24 millimeter f1.4, and that's my setup. And this right here is a Sakona uh, monitor. Now I just put it there, prop it like this, and then I could see myself. And then you got the remotes for the aperture light and the Sony camera so that I'm not getting up and going. Other things that's new to the setup since I did the setup video is this Keychron. And gotta love the Keychron. And I just think overall it looks really nice. RGB. I got the uh, brown switches. They feel good. They sound good. And they're just awesome. I got the MX Master mouse and then a trackpad. Because once the keyboard, I mean, once the laptop is underneath, you can't use the trackpad. And not having a trackpad on the iPad, it's, it's a no-go. Now this area, this is my overhead rig area. So I created this like almost three years ago. I have a full video on it. I will show you guys or I'll link it down below in the description. And I just put whatever I need to put down there slide this over to wherever and then i got a quick release plate right here so i pop that in and then i go ahead and shoot my videos or my overhead shots like that and then i have a bunch of different boards down here they're like colored boards so you could like if i can reach one each one's got multiple colors on the back and these are just like things that i put on top of the desk in order to get different scenes the last setup is this right here. You guys haven't seen this setup yet, but this is a third setup that I'm working on. Um, my wife didn't want it this chair upstairs anymore. So I'm like, hey, let me use it for a setup. So I have that, got this table, a little plant, and then the shelf that I have over there on top of my monitor actually came in a two piece. So this is the second piece right here. Got a couple of items. And then I got one of these lights. This is another Aperture MC light. And when you turn it on, you can just use different colors, RGB and all that stuff. Anyway, this is my studio. Oh, before I forget, lights. So I have the soft box where I shoot the video, but I also have these lights. And I have three lights up here and they're just like white bulbs I got off Amazon. And then they were harsh not very soft so i got a diffuser propped it up with some strings and then now the light that comes out is very soft light and that looks great and i was thinking of doing the same thing over here but then i discovered these lanterns so i literally just like propped them up there with some hooks and using the other light and now they give me this soft beautiful light so if i don't need all that extra light here for my face or for a product then i have this light which lights up the whole studio and it's one uniform color and everything looks pretty good anyway that's the studio um like i said this whole thing was shot on the galaxy note 20 ultra 5g it's mainly been shot in the wide angle lens so that i could like point at things i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up if it's the first time to my channel definitely consider subscribing thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one until then stay plugged <laughs>